Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining and uh, for being here. We are um, from Alpine Edge, we have recently started hosting uh, on OpenSUSE Mirror and we want to talk a little bit about that. My colleague is uh, joining us over video call, unfortunately he was not able to be here physically, but he will um, still be here. Uh, we at Alpine Edge work, are specialized in DevOps. We offer different um, infrastructure services and um, this is just something to show our expertise a little bit. Yeah, um, I'll let Ray start speaking. Ray, have fun. Uh, yeah, hello everyone. Uh, I cannot see any of you, but maybe you can see me. Uh, yeah, I hope uh, you've been having fun at the conference, um, and yeah, let's uh, let's say a few things about mirrors. Uh, so last year, in the effect of a local NGO that maybe you have heard of, uh, called Open Labs, and another smaller hacker space called Netspace Albania, uh, I and uh, some friends like Aulona Kolice that was supposed to speak here today and uh, Klesi Fetiu, which is not in the conference today either, uh, started working on... Uh, so we wanted to set up a Linux Mirror for Open Labs uh, just so we can offer back something to the community. And this year we actually got around to making that through. A couple months ago we started, uh, so we became an uh, official Linux mirror, OpenSUSE mirror, and we've been monitoring everything in production, how, it go how it's going, uh, what the challenges are, and everything like that. So this talk will not be very technical, although I am open to technical questions. Uh, this will just be a simple discussion on, uh, on general on the infrastructure needed to run mirrors and what is, uh, what is the community around that like. like uh, I don't mean what, uh, what mirror maintainers uh, discuss with each other, but I mean, what is a community like for someone who wants to run their own Linux mirror? What is the documentation like, the guides, and everything you can find on the internet? Uh, so, uh, first of all, who even runs Linux mirrors? Uh, in general, I got this idea that there is two kinds of people that do this. It is either people that want to contribute to the community, like we were last year, uh, just for uh, the passion and the love of the community, we want to run uh, an OpenSUSE mirror and we want to give something back, right? We want to improve our everyday lives since we also were using OpenSUSE and we wanted to get everything a bit quicker. Uh, but also for everyone else, not just uh, ourselves. And the other kind of people uh, are people that are using these mirrors in infrastructure, maybe in an air gap system that they need to check every package, uh, <clears throat> every package they get, or they cannot just pull stuff off the internet, uh, or people that uh, need to run these mirrors in CI/CD pipelines, right? That. Uh, need the, some better performance if you are running thousands of jobs each day and each job is installing some packages, you want to save as much on bandwidth as you can. Uh, so, for this second kind of people, I think that there is uh, some challenges that are presented. Like, in order to do this, uh, yeah, you know, right, it's a, it's a simple file server, right? It's just you set up an Nginx, you serve some files from your hard disk, and also an rsync, and yeah, what's, what's the big deal? Why, why should there be a large community to, or why should there be some documentation or anything? This is some basic things that everyone can do. But even for a, even for a simple file server, we do a lot of things. All my friends here that uh, 
uh, are working on infrastructure know that you cannot just expose a file server to the internet, right? You have to you have to monitor it. You maybe should set up a web. Uh, so you have to figure out everything that uh, you have to figure out the bottlenecks. You have to figure out where the attacks are coming from if there are any attacks, of course. Um, you want all the time you want to optimize and you want to make it more secure. Uh, and yeah, in production, even if you are not serving the public, like in the case of air gap systems, you still want all of this, uh, uh, all of these nice things of uh, infrastructure. And the the problem is, as I see it at least, that uh, if you want to do this, you either have to invest significant time, uh, or you have to find something out there that someone did this. Uh, that someone did this already. And to the best of my ability to do some research. I didn't find anyone who has, like, even some simple Grafana dashboards. Like, I couldn't find on GitHub or anywhere else uh, some Grafana dashboards to monitor uh, Nginx specifically for running a Linux mirror. And, yeah, that's a simple example, but I mean that uh, if... Uh, let's say, for example, if you were a, a developer that wanted to run your own mirror for uh, for the case of CI/CD, uh, you cannot do it. You cannot do it because you have another job, right? You have to develop your application. You have to develop your CI/CD pipelines. You don't have time to do all this other project and leave everything on pause for a couple days, maybe weeks. Uh, so that is what we want to achieve. Uh, that is what we, uh, one year from now, that is where we want to get at. We want to get at a place where we have built a system that people can just, uh, we want to get at a place where people can just uh, get some guides of our GitHub and be able to run uh, to run Linux Mirror in in their environment. Like, uh, unfortunately, I cannot uh, show our work today, but uh, I think I lost my train a bit. Um, wait. Basically, we want to standardize all this work and for people to be able to simply download some manifests, uh, some agnos uh, infrastructure agnostic manifests, and be able to fit this kind of setup with their current infrastructure without having to be experts in reliability, in monitoring, uh, in uh, security, like... Uh, firewalls or anything like that. Uh, I want them to take advantage of all the work that we and all the other uh, mirror maintainers are doing. So I want to make uh, running, we want to make, our vision is to make Linux mirrors more accessible to, uh, to everyone, to people that do not work with infrastructure every day, to developers, uh, and yeah, to maybe even to smaller infrastructure teams, like if you're just three or four people in a DevOps or system administration team, you don't want to invest significant time in this kind of thing. But if, uh, if someone has already done this work for you before, it's something that could be worth it to uh, For example, uh, I, if you guys have ever run a Docker registry before, it's uh, super trivial. You, so, because everyone does this, right? And you can simply use a Helm chart, you can download some static manifests, make some changes, 
but it's not more than a couple hours of work to set up your Docker registry, either as an actual registry to push your images to, or uh, as a caching registry. And I want the same to be true for Linux mirrors, starting with OpenSUSE, and we want to also do the same thing for other distributions. So this, there is no reason for this to not be trivial uh, today in this day and age. Um, and yeah, that's, that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions, if you have any advice, we would be welcome. Uh, you would be welcome to hear it. Thanks a lot, Ray. Uh, so yeah, do you guys have any questions or anything you would like to ask uh, me or Ray? Please feel free. Uh, he will probably hear it from you. We'll see. Yeah, I'd like to know if you have any open source repositories so, so, so that we can like collaborate or, or like to come and hang. Not yet. Uh, as I said, we have just become an, uh, an official mirror of OpenSUSE a few months ago. And right now, we are at the phase that we want to become experts at this. So we are running this mirror in production. We are monitoring how everything is going. Uh, soon, we are going to migrate it to another infrastructure, to, uh, to some new hardware and a new platform. And this is intentional, by the way, so we can figure out all the intricacies, you know, like running a kernel test. What we did right here that will not work uh, on uh, specifically in Kubernetes in the new infrastructure. So after we have uh, some significant work to show, we will make our repositories public. And uh, why not everyone will be able to, uh, to contribute to them. Great. Are there any other? Yeah. In which country is the mirror located? Uh, so the mirror is located in Tirana in our offices. Okay, thank you. We are currently the only uh, mirror in Albania for open source. Uh, also in, in the whole Balkans almost. I think it depends how you define the Balkans. <laughs> but yeah. That's a very hard thing to do, to define the Balkans. <laughs> exactly. Uh, are there any other questions? So, well, thank you very much for listening, everyone. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me, Ray, or uh, Aulona. Here you see our contact details. And um, for all your infrastructure needs, reach out to Alpine Edge. Thanks. Thank you, everyone.